What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over find merge point of two lists. Basically, you're given this really weird, two really weird link lists. I don't know why they have like two next pointers. I don't know what's, what it is, but essentially you have like two link lists that connect to a single node and we want to find that node. Right, so like we have in this case we have a link list one that has A, B, and C, and then the link list two has P and Q. But then there's also a um, it's also you could also go to X and B. You could go to X also, and this is where it converges to at X. Right, it just goes together. It meets here in this uh, middle here of X, and then it continues goes Y, Z, and all. So. What you're trying to do is you're trying to find create a function that's given these two link lists. It just returns like the node that it that it's um the node that it's at, right? That it converged to. So I'm gonna just explain that what I did, and then I might explain a better solution. So what I did was I created an unordered set that's just gonna hash the pointer of each node that we're looking at. So I start at the first node, uh, first list, right? This first list of A. And then I'm just gonna, every time I go to the next node, I'm just going to add it into my link list, uh, not link list, into my set. So here I created a current node called, uh, just current node. And I pointed to the head one, the first head of the first link list. And then while it's not equal to null pointer, I'm just gonna insert this, uh, this is the pointer into my unordered set, which is gonna be like a hash set. And I just go to the next node. Then what I do is after I added all the nodes that are that I've seen already, right, into my set that I've went through through the first list, I go through the second list, right? I'm gonna set my head pointer to point to my current pointer, point to head two, and I'm gonna do the same thing, except this time I'm gonna see, hey, did I already see this node? So I, I search through my set and I see set, uh, my set scene and I just check, hey, if scene.find is not equal to the end, that means I've already seen this node. And if, if I've already seen this node, then I return the data at that node. And the reason why this works is because let's say we're at this example of test case zero, it's gonna go through the first link list, right? And then it's gonna add all those to the set. So it's gonna add one, it's gonna add two, it's gonna add three, it's gonna add null. And once it reaches the end, right, it stops, and it's gonna go through the second list, right? The second list starting at this point of one. And then it's gonna check, hey, have I seen this already? So have I seen one? Well, technically I haven't, right? Because these two ones don't have the same pointer, right? So then I'm gonna to go to this two. Hey, have I seen this two already? Have I seen this link list two of this head pointer two? I have, therefore, this is the point where the two link lists meet, and then I just return the two. So that's what I do here. So if let if the scene dot find current is not equal to the end, but has already found this, I'm just going to return the data at the current node, and then I just go to the next list. Then when I'm done going through the second list, right while going to the next one, when I'm done and I reach the end of Null pointer, um, that and let's say I didn't return any data, right? I didn't find any uh, node that I've seen already, and that means there is no converging point, right? That means that both of these link lists don't meet at one point. So if that's the case, I return negative one because that means that the link lists haven't. We haven't seen a link list we already looked at, we already went to. Right, we haven't seen a pointer that we haven't went to. So that's why we return negative one. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys another solution also, which is in case if, uh, this one's in Java, but it's essentially the same thing, except we're gonna have two pointers. One's gonna point to head A and one's gonna point to head B. And we're gonna keep traversing until uh, we reach a point where they're the same. So this is a, this, um, this problem statement is actually assuming that two link lists are going to merge at one point, right? So if we're assuming that it's going to merge at one point, what uh, this 
what this person did was he's just going to keep going to the next node until we reach, until these two pointers are the same, right? So we have one pointer starting at the head node of the first list and second uh, pointer pointing to head B of the second list. And they're just going to keep going next, keep going next until those two pointers are the same and then they return it. So when they're going next, they're just checking, hey, um, yeah, the first one, what they're gonna do is they're gonna go keep going next for the first pointer. And then the second pointer, pointer B, is gonna keep going next. When they reach the end of the list, right? So if uh, the first pointer is next is equal to null, that means they reached the end of the list. What they're gonna do is they're gonna, they're now gonna switch to the second list instead and look through that direction because if they switch to the second list, um, there's a big chance that the, both of these two will meet in the middle, right? Because after I'm done looking through the first list, I have to look through the second list to see if I ever meet met in the middle, that these two linked lists traverse together, right? So yeah, and then if the second pointer that they're pointing at is equal to null, so this meaning that if the second pointer I've already looked through all my second list, right? I already looked through all the nodes in my second list and it's equal to null, then they're gonna go to the first list and click through those pointers also. So if they go to the first list, they're gonna set the second pointer to start pointing at the first list and they're gonna keep going down and then sooner or later, it's gonna meet with this other pointer, the first pointer and in the middle, right? So yeah. When this is done, they just return the uh, current B's data because that, that means they're at the same position. So this works because it's assuming that there is a converging point for two of the linked lists. So what it's gonna do is gonna, the first point is gonna start, start at A, second point is gonna start at P. Then it's gonna keep going next, next, next. And then once A's linked list is finished, it's at C and it's finished, it's gonna start at P and it's gonna start going to the second list. And once uh, the second list is finished, right? Once that pointer is finished, that point is going to go to the first list and they're going to keep traversing down and sooner or later it's going to meet in the middle. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the problem. Uh, personally, I think my solution is a little easier to understand because we're just looking through all the nodes that we've seen already. And if we already seen it, we just return it. But yeah, uh, if you want to go, go to the two pointer route, that's also another way you could do it. It's just a little difficult to uh, traverse through it. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.